High traders S&P 500 rose by 0.7% past week, cutting two consecutive weeks of declines. In practice, the market rose only on Tuesday. The rest of the days were directionless. The quarterly report period ended and August is behind us. We enter September, a time when the market has historically shown weakness. This is also the period when the bears begin pessimistic speeches about the direction of the market. We have already become accustomed to this in previous years, but this year, unusually, the bulls also joined the bear party. And that I do not remember hearing for many years. If we add to, the, to this the state of uh, the Trump's administration and the storm in Texas, this situation does not seem encouraging. Let's take a technical view of the market. When you take a look at the S&P 500, you can see the decline from the highs, lower highs, lower lows. But not only that, now we also have a triangle formation after the pullback that we've seen the past week. And therefore, it looks like that once we're going to move out of these triangle boundaries, we're going to have quite a big move. This should happen this week, either up or down. Personally, I think since the market has declined from the highs and all the reasons I gave earlier, that it's very likely that we will see the market coming down from this point. So look at the triangle and look for the breakout out of these boundaries. Let's take a look at uh, last week's picks. My first pick last week was Tiva. Tiva short did great, over 5% in profit. Just a reminder, we take a profit at 3%. And then we cover three quarters of the size that we had and we only now keep a quarter size for continuation. So Tiva is doing great and hopefully it will continue coming down. My second pick last week was NUE short. NUE did trigger, however, did not do as good as Tiva. It pulled back up a little bit, did not get to my stop loss, which is always at 3%. So it still is in the game and I hope it's going to continue moving down this week. But don't forget a 3% stop loss is the maximum I take on my swing trades. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is LL Long. I would like to go long LL over this bull flag formation. It looks great over $37.84. LL is a hard work flooring retailer in the US. Uh, the technical formation look, looks great and you probably wonder why I'm looking for a long if I think the market is more likely to come down. Well, first I'm not sure about the market direction, but then LL and any other stock that looks like that is not really created equally, meaning LL could move higher even if the market comes down. My second pick for the week is BZUN short. BZUN looks great under $25.74. BZUN is an e-commerce solution uh, for online stores in China. And the technical formation here looks like a very nice bear flag formation. So that's my second pick. And of course, if the market's going to come down, then the, we have a better chance with BZUN. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.